Hello and welcome to Tats Plus. My name is Martin Perignac. In this new episode of the digital publishing series here on Tats Plus, I'm going to show you how to work with video files in InDesign Creative Cloud. So we already talked about how to work with audio files and this will be quite similar, but there's a couple of things that you need to know and which is quite difficult to find out whenever you first start working with digital publishing in InDesign. So I'm going to first of all show you how to add videos or embed videos in, into your uh, folio files or use those also in Swift publications. But then I'm also going to show you how to use Flash Media servers to have uh, video streamed into your documents and also how to use like YouTube videos and just simply link to those videos from your uh, folio files. So for example, how to create an iPad application which will have a YouTube video or Vimeo video embedded inside it. So there's a lot to cover, but it's actually not that complicated. You will see how easy it is to do all of this in InDesign CC. So first of all, let me just do the first and most uh, basic thing to embed a video into uh, my document. So I'm going to switch to bridge and I have this first uh, file, the video file, uh, the first episode of this series, and that's an MOV file. Now, bear in mind that if you want to make sure that uh, the video that you are going to use in your uh, digital publishing content will show up properly in uh, an iPad, make sure you have an MP4 file, which is uh, coded with the H.264 uh, codec. That's the best one to use. Uh, you might get lucky and you will be able to use other formats as well without having any issues, but that's the best bet. So I'm going to just drag and drop this video now and place it into InDesign and I have to click and drag to create a frame for it. So there's my video frame and it will quickly generate a poster image as well. Poster image is uh, the one that you will see before the video actually starts playing and by default it's the first frame of your video but you can always change that poster image. If you select the frame and you go to the uh, folio overlays, then you have a couple of options here, but you have even more options if you go to the media panel. So we can go there and then we will be able to see that that's our uh, current frame is the poster image. But if I change it to something else, let's just say I want this to be the poster image, then I can click on this icon here to refresh the poster image to the current frame. So if I do that, we'll see that will appear here on the left as well. There's also another option to have navigation points in the video. But before we do that, let's just test this. Um, so I'm going to choose um, folio overlays and I choose auto play. And then I'm going to click on preview and also choose preview on desktop. So it will open up the content viewer application. And just as always, I mentioned this, if you have an iPad or mobile device connected to your computer, then it will show it on that. Otherwise, it, you can always use this option. Hello and welcome to Tats Plus. My name is Martin Perry. <laughs> you can hear me speaking, but that's actually video this video playing here. So I can hub. pause it or I can scroll into it or I can also turn off the sound and turn it back on to play and so on and so forth. So that's my video, which I embedded. And to make sure that it works, I have to make sure that this video is embedded into the uh, folio file. And of course that will increase the file size. So you should make sure that you don't include too big video files. Otherwise the app file will be too large. But there is another option, obviously, to stream or to link to uh, online content, which I'm going to show you in a second. But before we do that, I would like to also mention that you can control the video with buttons. Now, we already created buttons to control our audio file, which is also on this page. And very similarly to that, I'm going to create a button to start the video or we can also choose to stop the video or uh, use other actions. So I'm just going to create a text frame 
and I just type in video for now and I just make the text a bit bigger because I would like to show you what can you add to a video uh, action or what kind of actions you can add to uh, control a video so I just go to buttons and forms and choose a type button and uh, we can go to actions and choose video so last time we looked at the sound options now with the video we have quite similar options you can play stop pause resume or play from navigation point and that's the interesting bit because the play stop pause and resume are obvious but uh, from to play from navigation point that's something i would like to try so i'm going to choose that option and i'm going to uh, just type in here um, halfway so halfway i just need to make this text frame a bit bigger that's it so that means it will start playing from half of the video from the uh, midpoint in the video and for that i go back to the video choose media panel and I can add the navigation point somewhere in the middle of the video, somewhere there. So I click on add a navigation point. And I'm going to call this halfway as well, like that. And then I select again the button, go back to buttons and forms. And uh, here we already have this action set up to play from navigation point. Now we just have to define what is that actual point, which we want to play from. And that's the halfway because we just set that up so we can select it now so let's have a look at this now I'm going to preview the whole thing and the, vid the audio starts playing from our previous uh, setup but then there's my video which Hello can start playing if I click on it and if I click on halfway that will jump to halfway to into the video edition. single edition is for individual design we can turn this off now so we can see that with the buttons once again, we have a bit more control over how we play our video file. But there's one more thing that we can do, and that's in the folio overlays. And uh, that is the play full screen option. So if we choose that, play full screen, and we check how it will look like in a mobile device. So we can preview it on our desktop with the content viewer, and we will see how it looks like. So it will start automatically playing, plus it will also play in full screen. So let's see how it looks. Hello and welcome to Tats Plus. My That's name it. Is Martin so Perry. it already started playing and here in full screen. And we can make it a little bit uh, smaller so we can see all the controls, how they look. I'm now. going to just turn off the sound. And we can see we can scroll around or we can pause. And we can click on this icon here on the right to go back to uh, full screen or uh, go back to the previous content by clicking on X and uh, now that we covered this part of working with videos in InDesign we can also see how we can stream videos so to be able to do that we need to go to the media panel and uh, we can just create a simple frame so let me just create that frame here and once we have a frame selected we have this icon here at the bottom of the media panel called place a video from a URL. If I click on that, then a warning message will tell me that the video must be compliant with Flash Player. It can be uh, located on a web server or on a Flash Media server. And depending where it's based, you have to type in either this or this line before your video. But what is more common is to add a YouTube video, for example, into your uh, digital publication. So let me just cancel out from this. And uh, we can use this frame if we want, but I'm going to delete that as well. We can keep this video here on the left, but actually I'm going to delete that as well. And uh, I'm going to delete the button. And I would like to add the video in a different way. I'm going to uh, the browser. And I'm going to copy the embed code from a video. Again, this is a video from a previous episode in this series. So there's the YouTube video. And all I need to do is right click on it and choose copy embed code. So that's the option we need. And then I go back to InDesign, right click in InDesign and just simply choose paste. Or you can press command V or control V. And that will automatically create a HTML object. 
So that's what happens in the background. InDesign created this HTML object. It's good to know that you can do that from the object menu and create HTML object. Here you can also edit the HTML object uh, specification or you can right click on it and there you can find HTML or edit HTML. And that will give you this dialog box where you can see what's the embed code for this video. And unfortunately, YouTube and Vimeo as well uh, creates a source code which would work perfectly in a website, but not in InDesign. In InDesign, we have to go to the source and we have to type in HTTPS column before the double dash. So that's the way it should be written. And then once you have that there, you can click on OK. And it should even update here in our... Uh, view and yeah, that's it and I can make this smaller but you can see that it tells me that it's like a warning to get the latest flash player and even though I have it on my computer it will still show up like this now that's something that I would like to avoid of course but let's just make this a little bit smaller the whole video player I put it here at the bottom and I'm going to select the frame and go to the folio overlays and I'm going to choose auto play and I have also the allow user interaction selected. Okay, so now if I go to preview and I choose preview on desktop, then it should come up as a YouTube video. So there you have the video, but uh, I have to move this a little bit further up so we can see it. So let me just exit content viewer and I'm going to uh, move this over the image here on the top maybe move it even a bit further up so let's have a look at it again preview and uh, preview it on the desktop and there's our video so we can click on it to play it Hello and, and it will start playing well My you will notice that because we resize the frame the it actually can't fill it in properly series. let me just close this so what happened here is that because our frame is smaller than the actual video it won't show up properly so what we need to do is go back to the edit html options and here check the frame size and that's set to width 640 and if I check my fr actual frame size, that's only 412. So what I can do is I can uh, link these together. I mean, make sure the aspect ratio is not changing. And I type in 400, for example. And then I just have to copy this value, the height, and go back to the Edit HTML option. And here I can change 640 to 400. The width will be 400 and the height of the video should be this 226 for example or maybe we can type in 227 uh, I click on OK and let's have a look at the uh, preview now so preview on desktop and now you can see it's going to fit to the frame that we created in InDesign so if I uh, play it, I'm just going to turn down the audio. If I play it, it starts playing and we have control over it just as we would uh, from YouTube. And we can also put it into full screen if we want to. But there's one more thing that was a problem. And you might notice that whenever I start the preview, it always gives me an error. So let me just show you th that again and make sure you keep an eye on it. So that this is the error that will show up before actually the video appears. So if I once again preview it on the desktop, the first like one second will show this error that the Adobe Flash Player is not um, available or something like that. And uh, we have to sort that out. And to be able to avoid having that error, so just keep an eye now, this one, to make sure that that doesn't appear, what I'm going to do is to create an image on top of the video, which will uh, disappear immediately once the video is available. So let's just do this. I'm going to uh, copy the frame that I use for the HTML object and I paste it in place, edit, paste in place. And then once you have that, we can create a screenshot of the, of the video so you can always go back here and you can create a screenshot like this. That's what I, exactly what I'm going to do. Screenshot 
like that and then I go to bridge and uh, from my desktop I should be able to find that screenshot that's it and I'm going to drag and drop it into InDesign so we created sort of a poster frame or poster image for this video and it will be automatically replaced once the video content is loaded in properly so let's test this out again from the folio overlay panel I choose preview on desktop and with this little trick again a bit similar to the trick that we did at the end of the previous episode with the volume controls we should be able to get a perfect uh, user experience where we won't see any error message, we'll see immediately the video itself. There's still a little bit of change or, or loading, which we can see, but at least we won't see the error message. So now we have this video from YouTube directly in our digital publication. And that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, episode. I hope you found it useful. And if you want to learn more about digital publishing within Design CC, make sure you join me next time as well here on Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.